Uh, let, let me tell you how these Ravens, they, they trolled me. You know, we just did, we literally just did a video talking about big updates for the Ravens where we talked about the Tyler Linderbaum, Liz Frank injury. Hopefully that doesn't end up being nothing too crazy. We'll see. I'm a little worried about it, but we'll see. Uh, the possibility of JK coming back today uh, or really any day now. Um, so the Ravens were like, oh, he thought those are the only big updates that we were doing. Watch this. Uh, so I'm looking through the comment section of that video, and then I see a couple people say, oh, Ravens just signed Justin Tucker to an extension. Justin Tucker got a four-year extension. I'm thinking, hold up. Don't nobody usually troll about no kickers getting an extension. So this must be real. So I checked, and it is. It's always nice. It's always nice when people that do phenomenal work, not, not okay work, not good work, not great but when people who do phenomenal work when they get rewarded for it and justin tucker he has continued to be absolutely phenomenal for the baltimore ravens it is a beautiful thing it's, it's not a good feeling but it's a beautiful thing when we get surprised that he misses and the reason I say it's a beautiful thing is because we're just not used to it because for the longest we've just been so spoiled for so long with Justin Tucker well, ever since 2012 we've been so spoiled for so long with Justin Tucker he has continued to be amazing literally from start the start of his career he's continued to be clutch from start all the way up until now and we know uh, like, I had to explain to my brother-in-law, who's not really into football. He was like, because we was at the open practice, and he was like, oh, all, all he does is kick? All he does is kick the ball for the team? I said, well, yes, but his, it's not so simple. It's not that simple. Um, kickers, uh, for a lot of teams, they come and go. But if you find one, especially you find one that's special, the one that's gotten you through a lot. <laughs> Think about this. Think, like, seriously, think about it. Think about how many games the Ravens would have lost if they didn't have Justin Tucker. That's a lot of games. Oh, that second Super Bowl? <laughs> nope. It ain't going to be there. It's not going to be there. Justin Tucker, and, and, and see, with him, he came into a situation um, to where, and in Texas, he was known as a great kicker. But he came into a situation where he was going against Somebody who had already been in the league, uh, been in the league for a good amount of time, um, got a contract extension from the Ravens either the year or two years before in Billy Cundiff. Um, and the previous year before Justin Tuck, 2011, Billy Cundiff was struggling, struggling. Um, and then we, of course, all remember that 2011, that AFC championship game where Billy Cundiff missed it. Oof. That, that was my most painful game as a Raven fan ever, ever, ever. I always tell the story. I remember just knew, knew he was going to make it. We all knew he was going to make it. We knew the Ravens were going to go into overtime and beat the Patriots, head on to the Super Bowl. Boom, let's get it. But when he missed it, I just put my head down. I put my head down. I was crying, and then I, I, I could not lift my head up for, for a while. I was just had my cause we were at a sports bar, had my face down on the table, just sitting there because I, I just could not believe that he missed. Couldn't believe it. Um, and then this Patriots, this Patriots fan, she uh she ended up giving me a shot or something. She oh you get him shots. Like, okay, well thank you. That didn't really help much, but anyway, um, he, Justin Tucker came into the situation after that. Uh, having to go against a professional who, even though he struggled, he was still a professional. He had been doing this and he won the job. And I was a bit surprised because, you know, money, money talks, money talks. And if a player is on a bigger contract and they already have the starting job, usually a, a player that's especially an undrafted rookie free agent at the kicker position, there will usually be no threat. But Justin Tucker was obviously more than a threat. And that threat certainly paid off. Um, there have been some of his most memorable games for me. Uh, the Patriots game uh, in 2012, where it went over the crossbar. Um, what else? The, uh, the, the playoff game against the Broncos. That Just that game-winning kick. 
Um, obviously, the, the, the 66 yarder last year uh, against the Lions. Um, the uh, oh, the other one against the Lions was it 64? Or well, 62, it was 60 something. The whole Matt Elam and Jimmy Smith locked down Calvin Johnson game. Remember that? Y'all remember, remember, remember before when Matt Elam, he was talking all that trash? I remember thinking, oh, Matt Elam, I don't think you want to do that. Don't talk that trash. But his teammates had his back. They were like, oh, okay, go ahead, Matt Elam, do your thing. But anyway, um, this is well deserved. This is well deserved. I, I feel like he just got an extension like a couple years ago, though, right? I, I, I know he did. What, what what year was that with? Because Eric under Eric DaCosta too, he got he already got an extension under Eric DaCosta. So now I guess he's uh he's on his second one. Eric handed him that money, hey, and he deserves it. Now he's the highest paid kicker. Justin Tucker is the highest paid kicker in the league, rightfully so. Now <clears throat> Madden, on the other hand, how do you how does this dude have ninety nine kick power? I think ninety nine accuracy too, and he's rated like a ninety or something like that. It's, it's, Madden is so weird. Anyway, um, shout out to Brian McFarlane, Ravens salary cap, because he, that's the cap guy. He explains all the Ravens cap situations and whatnot. Uh, he said, um, this four-year extension will take Justin Tucker through the 2027 season. Uh, Justin Tucker's 2022 cap number was set to be 5.9 mil. And he had a scheduled salary of 3.5 mil. So the cap number was 5.9 mil, a little under 6 mil. Salary was 3.5. He said those will both come down, likely by around 1 mil or so. So, um, sounds like Ravens will get a little cap relief from this. But once the actual contract comes out, then uh, Brian McFarlane, as always, y'all, if y'all on Twitter, y'all follow him at, at Raven Salary Cap. He will break it down like he always does. Um, oh, here we go. He said the Ravens and All-Pro, this is from Ian Rappaport. He said the Ravens and All-Pro Justin Tucker agreed on a four-year deal, pays him 24 mil with 17.5 guaranteed, the new highest paid kicker. So get your money, JT. Get your money because you definitely deserve it. Um, with Justin Tucker, uh, I always say this too. H had the Ravens actually been, oh, now the dog's going to get the barking. If uh, y'all hear Pookie in the background, had he been on another team that actually uh, consistently had offense, he wouldn't be known as the best kick in the league right now. He wouldn't be. But since he was on the Ravens, and you know how Ravens offense had been for a long time, um, that's why he continued to get opportunities to, to try it out there and kick them field goals. Uh, but he, again, he has been amazing uh, at his job. Uh, so hopefully this year, like 2019, he can get just a lot of point after touchdowns um, and he will be relied upon to get the extra points and not have to go out there kicking a bunch of field goals because that would mean the offense, they scoring a bunch of touchdowns. But anyway, well-deserved. He is the best kick in the league right now. Clutch, strong leg, accurate, all that good stuff. That's why like anomalies, when anomalies happen, like in the Saints game in 2018, when Lamar scored his first touchdown, um, flat, the Saints were up by seven. Flacco hit John Brown, touchdown. Old Ravens down by one. Got to kick the field goal, go to overtime. But what happened? The wind, the wind blew it, and it went wide. It was a wide right or wide left. Either way, he missed it. And we were like, oh, we were all so shocked. Even he was shocked. You remember his face? He was like, oh, oh, oh. but. And in the Bills game, the playoff game from two years ago, was it two? Oh, let's. Like, um, no, two years ago, yeah, two years ago, the Bills playoff game. Um, when he missed two field goals, I believe it was super windy out there, but still, it's Justin Tucker. We were just we were shocked because that stuff just we not used to that. He has spoiled Ravens fans for the longest. So, anyway, would you stop? You know I'm trying to do a video, man. Come on now, come here. You know I'm trying to do a video. Man. There we go. All right. So anyway. So team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Shout out to Justin Tucker for getting his bread. And Raven's trying to open up a little bit of salary cap space too. Anyway, I appreciate you. Love you. And just like Justin Tucker really won't ever be for the entirety of his career as a Raven, I'm out.